Afternoon guys, Captain Velo. Um, just going to do a few videos. This will be the first one. Just a little mini, like a little series of things. People ask me a lot of questions on Twitter um, via my personal page. Uh, what kit? What kit do you use? Especially my bag. This one tends to get a lot of attention, so I always ask it first. Um, go with this one. Have a look at a few other things over time. Uh, I've got my shoes. People ask about uh, from the bike itself and so on. Um, if anyone notices anything on my Twitter. By all means, ask me the question. I'll have a little look in more detail and get you a better review. Um, we all spend a lot of time, uh, the wonderful guy, Howard, and the guys at UK Cycle Chat, we spend a lot of time talking on there about kit. Sometimes you don't always get a feel for it. Being able to physically see it, move it around, I can give you a little bit more of an overview. Um, if it helps people, fantastic. If it doesn't, um, then just tell me to uh, tell me to shut up. Um, the bag that I use in front here is my commuter. This is an Oxford Aqua 5. Um, or Aqua V, depending on whoever wants to pronounce it. This is the 20 version. They do come um, in a few different models. I think it's 15, 20, and 25, and 30. Um, they range in price. Um, online now, they're supposed to be about 40, 50 odd quid. You can get them for about 25 pound. Um, just be careful with the, the sizing. Um, obviously, if you're not sure what you can get in them, obviously go bigger. Um, and I'll obviously show you a little bit more about what I can get in there in a second. The bag itself really really good i spent years um cycling with just a normal sort of rucksack commuting didn't always do the job not waterproof not as comfortable and so on as far as i'm aware oxford obviously most people will know them if you're a, if you're a motorbike uh, enthusiast um most of them are dealt with for motorcycles and as far as i'm aware this one is designed for motorcycles um saw a lot of them at the um cycle show this year saw them at the cycle show last year and i think that's probably where i remembered them from this one in question, um, I really, really love this bag. Um, to be honest, it is spot on for everything that I need. Obviously, aluminous. The silvers, they do they do light up. There's a lot of brands out there that do that. Um, but being able to get aluminous with the light ups is really cool. Um, the little tag at the bottom, um, again, a little bit of a loom, a uh, bit of a, a light up on it, a reflector strip. Um, and I, I put, I've got a cat eye um, or similar that just hooks onto there, so it's an extra position for a, a light at night. Um, nice little waterproof pocket. Again, I've put my phone in there, I've put all sorts in there, nothing's got wet um, as since. Uh, and obviously, the, the, the zip itself. Fold over, so waterproof fold over. Um, a lot of the military style bags started doing these years ago. Uh, day, day sacks and dry sacks that you can get. Fold over twice, wrap it over and clip it. No water has got into there. Everything I take to work stays really, really dry. Um, the back of the bag, the only thing you have to be careful with with this, it is exceptionally comfortable. I've never had any issues with it. The straps are really good. The, the two pads are exceptionally comfy. It's just making sure in the middle here, as you can see, is the material. Make sure you don't get anything sharp in there. It was, it was, does uh, dig in the bag, you end up having to stop and rearrange it. Two little straps, sort of compression straps, just to tuck everything in. I don't use them, they dig in my back, and I'm probably going to just cut them off, to be honest, I think, because they're just sort of in the way, doing nothing. Um, regards to what I mentioned earlier about the size, depending on, um, obviously this one's the 20, I, I standardly take to work, there's bits and pieces in there from this morning, um, obviously working my way through it, I'd, I'd have a towel, I'd have my shoes and socks, um, underwear, whatever, shirt, uh, trousers, all rolled up, nicely tucked in. Then I can get my food in there, my sandwiches, my drinks, my crisps, whatever I need to take with me. And there's still like a little gap at the top, so you can kind of get a feel for the for the size of the bag itself. Um, and to be fair, I would highly recommend it. Um, obviously, I can pop the link on the Twitter page to Oxford's Twitter page. Um, go onto the website and have a look at them. But to be honest, I'd just search them online. I did obviously, um, a few guys have asked me where to get them from and I did mention to them online, managed to find them a few links. Um, I have got a couple of links to the place I got mine from. It was ridiculously cheap. If anyone's interested, by all means, give me a shout and I'll drop them a line. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, that gives you a little bit more info. It's not a massive video. It's just a little thing, little things, little bits and pieces, a little bit more informative, just gets you a better look and, and someone's view on it rather than someone just putting a Twitter comment on. Hopefully, that has helped um, people that are looking for new day sacks. And by all means, anything else you see in my other Twitter page, um, by all means, just ask me the question if I can do a little video about it and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go from there. Cheers, guys. Bye.